Hey everyone, today I thought we'd test who the fastest Dead by Daylight killer is in the game. For this, I don't want to just use their in-game movement speeds, but instead test the fastest possible way for them to move from one point to another. Let's get into it. So, every killer is on Ormond, a flat and mostly straight shot map from each end. The challenge is they have to simply reach the other end the fastest, with use of their best movement add-ons and their power. I did not use perks or bloodlust for this. I only used the items in the killer's own kits and an optional single survivor to inflict for whatever purpose. The timer was started when the starting wall was left. This allowed killers to charge their powers up without a time deduction. The characters who did this the slowest were unsurprisingly the ones with a power that did not focus on movement and simply required them to walk from end to end. These characters have a 4.4 meters per second movement speed and were tricked Trickster and Deathslinger. Both of these characters are ranged and had nothing really to help them get to the other side faster. The only alternate movement speeds they do have are ones that slow them down. For both of these killers, it took them about 18 seconds from end to end. We then have the next tier up of basic killers. These characters fall into the 4.6 meters per second category and have no alternate movement speed or add-ons to help them move faster. Huntress would actually be lumped in with both Trickster and Deathslinger, however she has the Soldier's Putty add-on that lets her move at 4.6 instead of 4.4 after emptying all her hatchets. This puts her on the same speed as all of the 4.6 killers. These killers all had a joint time. Doctor, Artist, Executioner, Plague, Ghostface, Nemesis, and also Shape in his tier 2 state all got this same time. There were very slight variations in their times due to the random nature of the tile spawns. It's a negligible difference between them though, and they are all moving at the same speed. It came in at about 17 seconds on average, a second faster than the 4.4 characters. We now move on to the slightly more interesting ones. One idea for Pig to try and make her move faster was pairing up some of her ambush add-ons, both the Last Will which increases your ambush speed by 6%, then also the Shattered Syringe, which reduces the cooldown of missed ambush attacks by 25%. Despite doing an ambush to begin the run though, this pairing of add-ons did not actually speed her up, and therefore despite her having speed-based add-ons and an alternate movement type that exceeded her base movement, she is actually the same speed as the other 4.6 characters. The cooldown after the ambush was simply too long. For Cannibal, I tried a few things. First, I tried a pairing of both Iridescent add-ons. Iridescent Flesh replenishes all tokens when a survivor is hit. Carburetor Tuning Guide consumes all tokens, and increases the chainsaw dash duration by 0.5 seconds, but does decrease the speed of the chainsaw by 2%. The base movement speed of the chainsaw Chainsaw moves at 5.29 meters per second though, so I thought the bonus speed and extra time would simply outdo this 2% downside. I positioned the survivor at the halfway point, then tried to utilize the two add-ons to get across at a higher speed. These two didn't end up pairing so well though, and it didn't allow the sweep to persist after the survivor was hit, so it wasn't that quick. The second combo was Iridescent Flesh, to replenish my charges, and the Beast's Marks add-on, which increased movement speed with the chainsaw by 3%. However, I had to time the charges correctly myself. This did end up working pretty well though, and all in all, this shaved off... nothing. <laughs> it was about the same speed. So Bubba also in that same 4.6 category with the rest. 17 seconds. Trapper interestingly did manage to just push ahead of these other characters at 4.6. If his coffee grinds add-on was used, he would gain 5% haste at the very start, after setting a trap. As the time does not start till the wall is left, this shaved off 0.1 second, making his time 16.9 seconds, just quicker than the other 4.6 killers at 17 seconds. The clown was the first character to truly break this 17 second trend. He is 4.6 at base, but with his afterpiece antidote affecting him, he becomes 5.06. To extend this effect even longer, I used the Garish Makeup Kit and Solvent Jug add-ons to extend the duration of Invigoration by 3 seconds, letting me cover the gap between the clouds faster. Throwing your bottle doesn't slow you down either, so I could pretty much cover the full distance with the 5.06 speed if done correctly. 
The total time for this was 15 and a half seconds. The Legion has a base movement speed of 4.6, but an increased speed in Feral Frenzy of 5.2. Although they have nothing to make them go faster than this, they do have add-ons to extend the duration of Frenzy, which would allow me to run for longer. A bit like Clown's situation. These were both the Mural Sketch and the Stolen Sketchbook, which extended it by a total of 4 seconds. I also positioned a survivor about 3 quarters of the way, in case I needed to hit and extend my power. I didn't end up needing to. Their time came out at 15.2 seconds. Moving on to the Onryo. Now this is where things get a little tricky, as Sadako kind of had to take a slightly different route, due to the position of her TV. However, that's a downside of her power, that she can't choose the exact point to teleport to, but instead has set points. So it is what it is. With her teleport, paired with her add-on Bloody Fingernails, which increases her post-projection speed by 50%, the quickest time she got across this distance was 14 seconds. I tried two separate TVs, and both ended up equaling 14 seconds. Next up is Wraith, who has an increased movement speed when cloaked of 6 meters per second, much faster than his base 4.6. With the Windstorm Blood and Windstorm White add-ons, he gains 16% extra to cloaked movement speed. His total total with both of these speed add-ons was 11 and a half seconds. On par with this speed was the twins. With use of Victor and both of his speed add-ons, the Forest Stew and Madeline Scarf, he gained an additional 0.9 meters per second, onto his base of 6 meters per second. His total was also the same 11 and a half seconds, putting twins on par with Wraith. For Nurse I was unsure what add-ons to choose, but the most effective I found to be both Kavana's Last Breath and Heavy Panting. This added a total blink distance of 10 extra meters, but a 50% longer charge time. As the first blink could be charged prior to leaving the starting point though, this was the best option, for the most distance. She could cover the distance in two blinks, with her fastest speed being 11 seconds. On par with Nurse was Nightmare, who managed to also cross the full distance in just 11 seconds, with use of his teleport to a nearby generator. He didn't have any add-ons to help him, but his instant teleport allowed him to move faster than Sadako's slower one, even without the speed boost after doing so. I was quite surprised by this. The next fastest was the Spirit. I tried a few add-on combinations with her, to try and optimize the speed of her phase, which at base was 7.04 meters per second. The staple of course was the mother-daughter ring, an iridescent that grants a 40% increase to movement speed when phasing. I then tried the Kaiyun Talisman, which provided a longer phase by 1 second, then also the Yakuyoke Amulet, that provided a 3.5 second longer phase, but reduced the phase movement speed by 15%. Turns out the Amulet was the better pick, despite the movement speed reduction. The longer duration allowed it to exceed the speed of the Talisman combination. Her fastest add-on combination, therefore, allowed her to move across this distance in just 9 seconds. The next fastest was the Oni. I used the survivor to gain my blood fury, which let me move at 7.82 meters per second. However, with the Akito's crutch and Kanai Anzen Talisman, I gained an additional 21% movement speed when demon dashing. Oni's fastest was 8.75 seconds. Next up we have Blight with quite a considerable speed. For Blight I used Adrenaline Vial and Blighted Crow. When rushing your movement is 9.2 meters per second. Adrenaline Vial gave me a 10% increase to movement speed, and also two more rush tokens. Blighted Crow gave me 6% extra movement speed for each consecutive rush, totaling by the final token a 46% increase to movement speed. I did this one by using up 4 tokens at the start to gain initial speed, then bouncing twice along the way as I had to reset the rush, and also use the final two rush tokens. His total with Adrenaline Vial and the full force of Blighted Crow was 7 seconds. Next we have Hillbilly. Hillbilly has a base of 9.2 meters per second also when chainsaw sprinting. However, he doesn't need to bounce he could just go in a straight line. With his speed add-ons, doom engravings, and death engravings, I gained an extra 35% movement speed with the chainsaw. His final time was 6.5 seconds. Next we had Cenobite. The main factor to Pinhead was his teleport, 
I use the survivor to collect the box and position myself in a place where he would teleport the closest to the wall. With some trial and error, I found a good spot. But even so, after the teleport, he still had to walk the final meter or so. With his teleport, the quickest I could manage was 4 seconds. We then have the Demogorgon. One of Demo's fastest movements is actually his shred, which is 18.4 meters per second. This can't be used for traversing a distance though, so I opted for the portals. The portals give an insane movement speed of 20 meters per second when crawled through. With the deer lung and rotten green tripe add-ons, I gained an additional 45% movement speed for my portals. With both speed add-ons, Demo is capable of moving across this distance in just 3.5 seconds. The character at the very top, however, is Hag. Interestingly, she is the one who can move the fastest. With use of her iridescent add-on, Mint Rag, Mint Rag allows you to teleport to any trap from anywhere by simply pressing the teleport button. So I set up a trap, went to the starting point, and instantly teleported. One second. Alright, well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed. Thanks, and goodbye.